Assalamu alaikum, dear students of the third year, you will study in this video superstitions. Where is superstitions? We will take one of the characters as an example to complete the idea of uh, paganism. Here we will take superstitions of Susan Nansach in book one, chapter three. Who is Susan Nansach? She is uh, one of the superstitious characters among the locals of Egden Heath. I mean that there are other characters who are superstitious. But Su Susan and such is uh, an example. We will take her as an example. We will study her. She is the mother of Johnny and such. Who is Johnny and such? Johnny and such who had been Eustacia as a stoker at the bonfire. In book four, this is mentioned in book four, chapter six. You can uh, check that on page uh, 430. She, Ju Susan Nansuch, believes that Eustasia Vi is a witch. Therefore, she stabs the latter, the latter Eustasia. She stabs the latter with a needle in the church. Why? We have to ask why. As Christian Cantel says, according to this character, he says, she waited for this chance for weeks so as to draw her blood and put an end to the bewitching of Susan's children. Bewitching of Susan's children. This is this quotation is taken from book three, chapter two, page 267. So why she did that? Why she stabs her with a needle? She she did that. To end the bewitching, Eustacia's bewitching, which is the noun. Bewitch became a verb. You can use it in the tense you need. So to stop Eustacia's bewitching of Susan's children. Susan has two children, as you know, Charlie and, uh, and here Johnny. We have Johnny. Both of them work with the Vi family. Charlie is the boy servant of uh, the Vi family. And he's infatuated with Eustacia. She thinks that because he's infatuated with Eustacia and her beauty, being an adult, being uh, a, an adolescent, a teenager, and he's 12 years old or 13 years old. So she believes that um, certainly Eustacia has bewitched him. To stop that, she waited her in the church to stab her with a needle. Christian, who narrated for us this, these two lines, also narrates to Mrs. Yobright and to her son, Clem, the event. Here we have a proof from the text. On this event, we have a proof for what Susan Nansuch has said and what she believes of Eustacia. He says, all the folk jumped up. Of course, this event is in the church. All the folk jumped up and then we found that Susan Nansuch had bricked Miss Vi with a long stocking needle as she had threatened to do as soon as ever she could get the young lady to church where she don't come very often. He means Eustacia doesn't come to the church very often. So uh, Susan Nansuch waited her there. And as soon as Eustacia came, she stabs her, bricked her with a stocking needle. Notice that the speaker is Christian. The speaker is Christian. But the novelist uses a Christian to narrate and to comment on the event in the church. Here we have also another quotation. Later, Susan Nansuch also will burn an effigy of Eustacia to end her spell, to end her bewitching. Here, uh, the quotation, Susan uttered the lugubrious discourse three times slowly, and when it was completed, the image had considerably diminished. 
As the wax dropped into the fire, long flame rose from the spot, and curling its tongue round the figure, ate still further into its substance. A pin occasionally dropped with the wax, and the embers heated it red as it lay. From Book 5, this quotation is taken. What does Susan uh, do? She made an effigy, an image, an object, which represents Eustatia. This is the Sahara. This is Susan did the same. She took an image or an object, which uh, is like Eustatia, uh, to, or to, to represent Eustatia, then she will burn the effigy. The effigy or the image or the object has a pin. Uh, this pin is dropped uh, in, uh, this pin is dropped in the fire when she was burning it. The effigy is made from wax, the wax that uh, candles are made from. Wax began to melt, then dropped into the fire. You know, when wax drops into the fire, uh, the flames of the fire rise. So a long flame rose from the spot and curling its tongue. We say the as al lab the same thing in English. Curling its tongue round the figure, round the effigy, round the object, ate still further into its substance. Fire ate the uh, the image, ate the effigy. Why she did that? Again, to end Eustatia's spell. To stop Eustatia's bewitching. She thinks that Eustatia bewitches her children, Charlie and Johnny. Because they like her, they love her. They work for her. They do anything she wants from them. That's why she uh, she did that. So let's see more. Uh, you have here two examples of non-such superstitions. This one, this this is a ex first example. This is the first example. The second example uh, is this one. That also, we have another a third example that not only Susan Nansach is superstitious, but also Christian Cantle is superstitious. You remember the event when the Redelman took the lady, Thomason, uh, to take her. He had her in his van and he wants to take her to Mrs. Yobright's house. That was at night and the people were celebrating uh, in the on the 5th of November. So amid the locals' occupation, amid the local celebration on the rainbow, and amid the noises of women's shrill cries, men's laughter, the Redelman appears. In then at night, read from top to toe, to ask about a way to lead him to Mrs. Yobright's house. He wants to ask about a way that could lead him to go to Mrs. Yobright's house. This house is called Bloom's End. This house is called Bloom's End. Okay? So, now you have two names, Bloom's End and the Quiet Women's Inn. Now, in this situation, in this situation, Christian and Susan are horrified and told the red man that he is like the devil or the red ghost the boy told of, told of, uh, because they think they think that there is a red ghost and the red man because he's red from top to toe he's like the red ghost uh, and he also he's also christian told him that he is like the devil in the picture of the temptation here it shows you how their their belief in the ghosts their belief in ghosts shows that they are superstitious 
Moreover, Susan has nightmares of death, nightmares of blood, due to her superstitious beliefs. And because of this nightmare, again, uh, she didn't forget the nightmare. Uh, and then here, uh, when she saw the red, uh, the red man, she is horrified. She thought that he's like a devil or a red ghost. Now, let's see uh, what's her role. It, only the mother of Johnny and Charlie? No. Susan uh, represents the tradition in a negative light in the novel. The tradition, you know, uh, the writer cannot present all the characters to show you the tradition, but uh, he, he chooses one or two characters to emphasize this idea and to highlight this idea. Susan is one of these characters that the writer Thomas Hardy shed, uh, sheds light on. Susan represents a tradition, but in a negative light in the novel. Why negative light? Because these traditions are deprived of knowledge and these traditions are not the heart of the Christian belief. They are the heart of superstitions, the heart of uh, belief that luck can do something great. The, the, uh, without any explanation, without any science, that's it. Things happen in a mysterious way. This is uh, magic, this is superstition. For instance, let's take an example. For instance, in addition to sticking Eustachia with, need with needles, Susan has another hobby or another uh, practice, she, which includes the voodoo. What's the voodoo? What's the voodoo? Here in the dictionary, voodoo, two syllables. This is the pronunciation. How they say mulong you, voodoo. It's a noun. It's a religion that is practiced especially in Haiti and involves magic and witchcraft. Magic and witchcraft. So a religion which involves witchcraft. Deen is Sihru Deen Shawada mawjood fi hadha al-makan. طيب, in Haiti. So Susan's hobbies include practicing voodoo and worrying about her kid, Johnny Nansach. She worries about him uh, a lot. And also about Charlie, of course. So these are her hobbies. هذه المحاضرة تضاف لمحاضرة الباغانزم. وممكن تكون محاضرة في حد ذاتها عن موضوع الخرافات والشاوذة. As a theme in the novel, superstition as a theme in the novel. And you have the examples and gave you the page number also. Write it and have a good luck.